Welcome everyone to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to implement icons into your React Native app. And we're going to make use of this library called React Native Vector Icons. I will leave this uh, link at the description of this video. We also have here by hand a directory of this library that shows us a, a lot of icons that they have in their packages. So you can check it out and see all the icons they have. So we also have uh, here a React Native project from scratch, or just a hello world in the middle of the screen. And yeah, let's start with it. So yeah, our goal is to, sorry. Uh, our goal is to put some icons here instead of the hello world. So let's start. Uh, we will copy this command. We will just follow the, of course, the steps on the description of this library. So we will copy this command. If you are using NPM as the package manager, you can use NPM and just copy and paste this exact same command. I am using yarn in my case, so I will just copy the name of the library and I will uh, run yarn add and the name of the library. So this is our first step. So now we have different processes, one for iOS and the other one for Android. So let's start with the iOS one. We will have to look for the React Native Vector Icons uh, module folder and drag and drop the phones folder into our Xcode project. So let's uh, open our Xcode project. I have it by hand. So here is our project. And uh, yeah, let's open also the finder because we have to look for this folder. So let me go, let me find the, the folder of this tutorial project uh, here. So just one second, here we are. So uh, yeah, this is the folder of, of the project. Let me also minimize this thing so I can drag and drop. So the finder. Then we have to go to the node modules folder and localize the React Native, React Native Vector icons. Inside this folder, we will find the phones folder and we have to drag and drop this folder here into our app. We have to make sure that our target here is checked and also create groups is checked. I'm not inventing this, this is in the documentation. So here it says that make sure just the same I, I, I just said. So finish, um, keep Xcode version. And uh, now, what else? What's next? We have now to edit the in, uh, info.blist file. So for now, for, for this, we will go to our VS code again, and we will open the info.blist. Uh, if you're wondering how I open the file like that, you in the Mac OS, you just press Command plus P and type the name of the file. And for Windows, it's uh, control plus P. So let's open this file and just at the bottom here before this tag and after this one, we will add what the, what the documentation says. So uh, if we open this uh, dropdown here, we will see the content that we have to paste into our info.blist file. So let's copy and paste here. Don't worry about the indentation of uh, this content. Uh, we will do it just for beautify our code. Okay, so we save the file and next step. We have to go to Xcode and uh, yeah, this is, this is already done. So what we will do is to create this file that suggests here. Let's copy the name and at the root of our project, we will create the, that file. 
and copy that content. Save and we can close this file. So that's all for the iOS side. Let's now jump into the Android side. So Android is much more simpler. We have to open the Android app build gradle file, not the Android build gradle, but the Android app build gradle. So same as before, command plus P or control plus P on Windows and let's type build as well. So uh, be careful here. We have to open this one, the second one, Android slash app. And uh, just at the bottom of this file, we can copy and paste this, this line of code. So here we have the option to just customize, customize the fonts or the packages of the icons we want to use. If we want to specify just the ones we want to use, we can do it uh, this way, copying and pasting this, uh, this portion of code. But in this example, we will use all the packages or just a few of them, but it's not uh, something important to worry about this in my case. So if you want to specify the packages you want to use, you have to copy and paste this and here uh, to the this array, the packages you will use. So uh, we can proceed now. Um, we also have in in this uh, documentation the packages you can explore the icons and see the packages we have here so that's all for this side of uh, the installation now what we have to do is to run mpx uh, pod install because we have made some changes and installed new packages new libraries so for the ios side we will have we will have to run this command it's called install so once this uh, command finishes, we can run the app again. That's also important. We have to rerun our app on both sides, iOS and Android. So run iOS. let's wait because this will be a bit longer. We will have to wait a bit here. So I will pass the, pause the recording. Um, if I have any error in the process, I will record also the solution so you can also solve the problem if you have the same problem. So I'll see you when this uh, process finishes. Okay, so that was iOS and we have, sorry again, we have the app uh, running here. Let's do the same also for Android. Turn run Android. So we will have to launch the app again on both sides. So the same now, I will wait until this process finishes. Okay, it was fast. So now we have both apps running. Here is the Android emulator. So now we can also go back again here to the documentation and just copy an example we have here. Let me find it here now. Uh, here it is. So this is the way we will use this. We will import the icon. We can name it as we want. For example, we can import the ion icons. This is one of the packages and call this icon ion icon, for example. Uh, we will use this portion of code just here and call it ion icon. So uh, I'm not sure if this uh, icon exists in ion icons, but we will check it when I save. So yeah, apparently it exists and as you can see, we can, uh, here is the icon properly working. So that means that we made the installation successfully. So yeah, as you see, this is just an example with one of the packages. Now I will show you a few more of them, but let me first uh, stop here with this error. This is, uh, you see, this is underlined with red. This is marking an error, but this is just something uh, related to TypeScript. So if you are not using TypeScript, you can ignore this. This is not something that will break your app, uh, but this is complaining about something related to the types. So to solve this, we can just uh, copy this library suggested here. Again, if you are using NPM as the package manager, you can just copy and paste the entire command. 
in my case I'm using yarn so I will do it by yarn so yarn add minus d and the types so that error will disappear this should be fast and here and the error should disappear now so uh, let's give it yeah there it is so for example let's uh, make uh, another test uh, let's go to the director here and let's uh, look for I don't know Android so here we have a lot of oh, Android here we have a lot of icons Android icons so for example let's use this from awesome so for that we just copy and paste the same line we will call it font awesome icon for example and font awesome is the package so we can also copy and paste this replace this with, with font awesome icon and here the name let's check again the name was android so we will use this name we can put the color black for example and there it is so we can do something curious here something interesting for example we can depending on the platform if it's uh, Android we will show the Android icon and if it is iOS we will show the iOS icon so uh, let's uh, look for an iOS icon for example iOS or let's uh, let's type apple that's much better so let's copy this one and now we have as you see on the iphone the apple and in the android emulator we have the android icon, icon sorry so this is just an example but as you can see we have uh, successfully installed the the icons and now you are free to use all the packages you installed so as you see here for example when i uh, remove the package we can see the packages we have installed here so that's all for this tutorial i hope you understood everything and you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below bye, -bye.